The Frog Human Anatomy Frogs and humans have many comparable body systems, including the respiratory system. Both use their lungs to take in oxygen and expel waste gases like carbon dioxide. If you have noticed, this part is wet because oxygen has to be soluble in water. So, if you have a cough, colds, or pneumonia, you can feel that this part is filled up with water. Then, you will run into difficulty of breathing and open your mouth to accommodate your need for oxygen. We have the liver here. As you can see, it is still healthy. Liver detoxifies all toxins of our body. Anything you have eaten, drunk, or taken medicines are processed here to protect other organs in our body. As you can see, Frog's liver has three lobes, the left anterior lobe, the left posterior lobe, and the right lobe, while human has one big liver with four lobes. Aside from detoxification, it also produces bile. Bile is a fluid that is made and released by the liver and stored in the gallbladder. It also helps with digestion. It breaks down fats into fatty acids which can be taken into the body by the digestive tract. This is the stomach. As you can see, it is full of food. This stomach has a protective lining to protect our stomach from the strong stomach acid that digests food. Sometimes, when we are in hurry, we just swallow food without chewing so it will go in this part of our stomach and separate the acidic pH this thick portion is called pyloric sphincter it served as a kind of gateway between the stomach and the small intestine it allows the contents of the stomach to pass into the small intestine. As you have noticed, the small intestine has more blood vessels. It is because the digested nutrients from the small intestine gets passed in the blood vessels in the wall of the intestine through the process called diffusion. The small intestine has three divisions, the duodenum, the judenum, and the last portion is ileum, going towards the large intestine. The large intestine is where stool is actually stored and excrete to the cloaca. Cloaca is common space that collects the waste and open into the outside of the body. 
Small intestine helps to porter digest food coming from the stomach. It absorbs nutrients like vitamins, minerals, carbohydrates, fats, proteins, and water from food so they can be used by the body. This is the spleen. Its function is for filtration of the blood. It recognizes and removes old, malformed, or damaged red blood cells. For example, a person has a blood disorder with more white blood cells and less red blood cells. It will accumulate in this area and it will become even larger. This is the part that the doctor looks at and examines. The next one is the kidney. The kidney is divided into two parts. They are protected in the retroperitoneal space by the renal fat pad and overlying ribs and muscle. Kidney is the dirtiest part of our body with the largest amount of bacteria. The urine flows from the kidneys to the bladder. On the upper part of the kidney is the adrenal glands, also known as supranatural glands are small, triangular-shaped glands. Adrenal glands produce hormones that help regulate our metabolism, immune system, blood pressure, response to stress, and other essential functions. This is the fat bodies. They use it to insulate themselves. Most likely, this type has already released eggs. It will enlarge if they are sexually active to produce eggs. This is the pancreas. This is used for producing intestinal enzymes. These enzymes break down sugars, fats, and starches. Pancreas also helps our digestive system by making hormones. These are chemical messengers that travel through our blood. This pancreas secretes insulin and glucagon, while glucagon keeps blood glucose from dropping too low, insulin is produced to keep blood glucose from rising too high. Glucose is our body's main source of energy. If you have noticed, pancreas is located near to small intestine because it will neutralize the pH that very acidic 
juice from the food we eat when it enters the small intestine. So, those are the major parts and functions of the frog system which is similar to the human systems.